Hey friends, welcome back to Covert CEO. I'm your host, Tim Brenner. Earlier we made a smoky old fashioned that I'm still drinking on. It was delicious, it was great, but I won't lie to you, it has a lot of calories packed into that little glass. So what I started making on a, just for more of a healthy fitness type thing, not that old fashions are ever gonna be healthy, but you can make them a little bit better, is I'll take my mixing glass, and I'll still use two to four ounces of Jack Daniels. The reason I choose Jack Daniels, as you know, it only has 65 calories, which isn't bad, not for alcohol. And with those uh, 65 calories, you don't pick up any carbs or sugar, so that makes it perfect for me whenever I'm on a diet. I'm trying to uh, work out and watch my, my uh, waist. So next ingredient I use is just regular old Splenda sugar. So it's a sugar substitute. And just so you get a good taste, I use five spoons of Splenda which is replacing what we normally would use as a sugar cube. And now uh, instead of using the sugar cubes, we're using Splenda. So that's cut a, a little bit of calories there with the sugars. I still use the same amount of bitters, which is four to five for me. But now we don't have to uh, mutter it because Splenda just dissolved in the alcohol just fine. You just pour your ice in. And you'll still want to stir it until the bottom of the glass gets really cold. And that's when you know you have the perfect stir and the perfect temperature on this. And it mixes up really nice, looks really good. If you didn't know it, you may not know it. But somebody put Splenda instead of a nice sugar cube. All right. So next thing we're going to do is I always uh, I make my own ice cubes. I like the big square ice cubes. I'll put it in the glass. And again, we avoided the simple syrup and we avoided the sugar cubes. So those are two things that we didn't use in the drink today. And now I'm going to simply pour it into the glass. As you see, it's slightly different color than what it would normally be, but that's fine. We're going for the taste here. So you uh, take this and you put it inside the smoke box. We use a bourbon soaked oak, which gives us a great, great taste. We put the little wood chips inside our burner here. We turn the burner on, apply fire. And it's smoking in there nice. You can see the smoke that's starting to come up into the, the glass here. And you can see it coming out the seals. So you know it's uh, getting plenty of good smoke in there. And it just smells great. I love the smell of this. Then we let the uh, smoke go in there, fill up the glass, fill up the uh, smoky old fashioned. While that's happening, I'm going to peel some orange here. I'm going to pause this process for a second. I'm going to rub the orange peel around the rim of the glass, get that orangey taste to it that I like. I'm going to put it back inside the smoke box. And then I'm going to flash the orange peel. I do that by heating it up with a blowtorch. A little bit of a black char to it. We can now put that inside the glass. And I still like to use cherries even though it's going for low cal, low fat. I use the Woodford cherries. They have such a great taste to them. 
a little bit of cherry juice in there with it. If uh, you don't use Woodford, you can use, uh, here's another brand, same, uh, same principle. You just don't use a normal uh, cherry. Now that's used in the smoke box. As you can see, this is a smoky old fashioned, complete. Mmm, it's a really great taste. You can't really tell the difference, but you can see when you put it uh, side by side a normal uh, smoky old fashioned in a low calorie smoky old fashioned, this one seems a lot cloudier and darker, where this one's just smooth. So that's the difference with those. If you don't have the smoke box, which I really like. These smoke boxes come in handy. You can smoke meats inside of them. You can put your cheese in there, and you can smoke the cheese. Of course, you can smoke any kind of drinks in there. But if you don't have one, you can still make this drink. What I've done is I've taken a saw blade, just a small saw blade. I've put it here. I've actually bolted it into my bar top. And then I just use a wood chip that you would buy for your grill to uh, smoke. It's a hickory wood chip. And you can put it down there on top of the saw blade. That way nothing catches fire on your bar. Let's go ahead and heat the wood chip up. Where it's caught fire there. And then all you have to do is just place your glass over the top of it. And it's doing the same thing. It's letting all the smoke go up inside your glass. Uh, the only thing you miss is it isn't going inside the uh, liquids as well. It's just filling the glass up. But then you would go back and you would do, uh, you would put your ice cube in, pour your drink in there, still put your uh, orange peel and your cherry in there, and you're, you're going to have the same product when it's all over with. As you can see, all that smoke's coming out of the glass now. It, it completely filled the glass. And it smells, it smells nice as well. It smells... Uh, like hickory smoke, so you're still going to get that smoky taste as you puff your cigar and, and taste this drink. These are wonderful drinks for smoking cigars, and, and this is a fun thing to entertain friends with. You have friends come over to your house, you can build them a drink. Us guys, we like to build stuff. We like to use our hands, so this is good for us. We can build a, a drink that people enjoy, and, and that's part of the enjoyment as well. So if you like this video, please hit like and subscribe if you want to see more of our videos, as we'll be making more. And if you have any comments, uh, please leave them in the comment section and I'll try to ask and or I'm sorry, I'll try to answer any comments that you ask. So everybody enjoy your week and everyone be safe and have fun.